So there's a lot of devices out on the market. There's a lot of pod systems. And you know, most of them are about $20, $23, maybe $30 devices. We've noticed there's a lot of devices that are a lot more expensive than that. And yeah. since we've you know had our fair share of cheap devices, we wanted to see really, you know, is it worth buying an expensive device? So we have four of them here. Um, 70, 50, 50, 50. These are these are all expensive pod systems you've got here, mm -hmm. and they all offer a lot of really crazy features. But is it really worth it to buy them? Let's find out. We can start with the USonic uh, Rhythm. This is just a fancy looking device, and its claim to fame is it has ultrasonic coils. So that means it probably won't burn out as fast, and you know, we'll see how it goes. So this device, in my experience, is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, cool. Let's see how it hits. Well, like a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very airy. Uh, this is something I've seen that you really have to hit hard and long, yeah. and you will get a huge cloud if you do it. it and yeah. if you hold it down. Exactly. You so, got like a couple test pumps. Like that. <laughs> a couple test pumps, and yeah. But yeah, this thing is really like a fat device. And it, you know, pretty big, pretty strong. And the, the one thing I've noticed so far is that it feels really nice compared to a lot of cheap devices. Yeah, it is actually, yeah, it feels very nice in your hand. The button's very clicky. Yeah, it's all together. Everything works perfectly. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have those fuck ups. That's the big thing that I've noticed between $50 devices or $50 plus dollar devices and the cheaper ones. They don't fuck up. Exactly, and that's awesome. Yeah, whereas like like a Smock Nova or something, you could get a pod that just sucks. Exactly. And that's not really good. It's not fun. It's not your fault, but the device just happens to be like that sometimes. It be like that sometimes. But let's move on. So the next thing we're looking at is the iJoy. And this one is a different, it's a beast of a different color, really. This thing is kind of like uh, just a very tiny... Mod. Yeah, 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 it just has so many things that you can do with it mm -hmm. that are great. Like we've got a jewel pod sitting in it right now, which is a mile. Yeah. Or some people may say Miley, so I'll say it either way because Miley. I'm not trying to get 50 comments. You dumbass, you're saying it wrong. Well, I'm, I'm from Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah, we I call say it, it how mile. I call it, and it's mile here. And you got your Juno pods. Yep, and then it also has just like a little tank reservoir, so yeah. you can fill up with either salt nick or regular yeah, nick. Because it has a wattage mode and a voltage mode. Voltage works for the <laughs> fucking salt, and wattage works for the fucking yeah. juice. And, if you and put it's a wattage, 510 yeah. connector, so you can put anything you want on. Yeah, you can put your like, you know, cartridges, anything on here. And what's cool is, since it does have the wattage mode, you can dial exactly what you want. Even if you're using salt, you can rip it. And it's intense. Yeah. Let me tell you, it's intense. Yeah. But Another that's something thing, you get, which yeah. is great. So you get all those kind of options with these kind of devices. Another thing I want to point out about $50 plus devices, they always have a big battery. Yes. Every single device sitting on this table right now is over 1,000 milliamp hours. Dude, like, aside from the Orion, they're all 1,500 milliamp hours yeah. almost. Think about it. I mean, they're going to last at, all yeah. day, if not two days. You look at the other, any other device that's below that price range and you're gonna you're you should be happy with getting 800 milliamp hours seriously seriously so that yeah, battery another thing and then something like the pavino it's fucking bluetooth that is crazy that's a really neat feature because that way you know it takes everything off the device and it's just clean and then all the controls are on your phone so yeah. you have just a sleek device and, and what's cool about it is that you can run it like a jewel you know you can just pop your pod in, mm -hmm. and you don't really need the app. You could go your entire time with this device and never use the app. Exactly. Unless yeah, because you, you can want, set it and forget yeah, it if yeah. you want to. Unless you, yeah, and then you can use the app for your customiz customization. Cus customization. Exactly. And, and you like, know, the app also has like a whole bunch of features that you don't get. Yeah. Like you can see how many cigarettes you've smoked in yeah. vape, which is dope. Yeah. And it's like the, this one has a screen. It tells you how many puffs you've had. Mm -hmm. Which is cool. Like and now something like the Orion is kind of like a workhorse. It's and this is something you really don't see out of a lot of cheap devices is this thing is durable as all get out. No, fuck like yeah. Like your Smock Novo, you know. The great thing is like, break this. I take this thing everywhere. I go in the kitchen with this thing like uh, we work in a kitchen I go in the kitchen with this thing and it comes out somehow not greasy 
Exactly. Which is something crazy, like the finish on it or mm. whatever, and like you drop that thing, it's just bounces right Good back to up to your hand. <laughs> Every well, right, and you know, the pods are, again, as we were saying, expensive. They're $10 for two of them. But, you know, when they burn, they're not done. They, they're you not. Can, you can, you can tell that they're, really they're a little burnt, burnt, but they they power yeah, through Yeah, I don't understand the last like, forever. Like, the cotton on that, well, you can see the cotton yeah. on that. It's, it's, it's a great system, yeah. <laughs> And yeah, this the thing. hit and the adjustable oh. airflow. What pod system below fifty dollars can has adjustable airflow? I don't think there is one, dude. No, There's no, not. seriously. And like the biggest thing about all these is that they're strong and they're durable, and you know they they're expensive, so it's worth it most of the time with these yeah. devices. And we have them all linked down below for like the best prices we could find. Still expensive. Um, is that they will last, and if you you know treat them well, these things you know are p completely able to handle all your day-to-day -day accidental mishaps Everything. and they're great yeah compared to like the cheap ones we're gonna end up buying another one probably and, and it might be soon so mm -hmm. i mean i'm not some of them are you know above the rest that like that's why we do reviews on everything exactly like the boo poo panda smock nova and the smoon s8 Smoke they're very SA, great yeah. very great devices if you want customization you want yeah. anything you know there's so many more options like if you're looking for something specific, you're gonna to want to look in that fifty dollar range because right. you're, whatever you're looking for is more than likely gonna be available. Exactly, and the whole thing about vaping really is that it's like a cheap alternative to doing everything else. And you know, yeah, it's expensive to start with it, but you're gonna you're gonna save so much in upkeep yeah. down the road that it's truly worth it. And what's cool is all of these also have a great warranty program. So mm -hmm. if you have any problems, yeah, you have to send them into China and they'll take a little bit. But you'll get another one, like replaced, no problem. Sometimes, set up. sometimes the website you buy from will do the warranty, which you'd end up not having. You probably send it to California and you yeah, don't exactly. get it back in a week or a which new is one great. in a week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, yeah, I know like great. like device like websites like Heaven Gifts. Mm -hmm. I know we don't use them very much because they don't usually have the best price. I've experienced their customer service and it's actually very good. They're they're uh, they're not English speaking. They're very poor with that, but. They usually have you send a video of you using the device and it not working whatever way and a week later you got a new one. You set and up. You don't even send them the old one because they're like, fuck it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but yeah, that pretty much sums it up, guys. Um, that's, this is like our high-end devices we've got so far. We're going to be getting a lot more down the road too. So we'll be reviewing them and uh, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, let us know what you think. What do you guys want reviews on more often? You want high-end? You want low-end? We want to know what you guys use more often, what you're looking at. Exactly. And uh, if you like what you saw, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you liked it, hit that like button too. And if you have any questions, head on over to fugginvapeboys.com. One of us will get back to you personally within about one business day. So thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, peace, peace out. out.